Hey, I want to do this quick video on how to change the motor in the Nat Geo 3 pound rock tumbler. Here I have it, but the motor died on me. Basically what happened was the uh, brush got too small, fell out, and uh, of course stopped working. So I wanted to make a quick video, as quick as possible, so you're not too bored to death on how to make this replacement happen. Pulling out the feet, these little rubber feet, they're just uh, uh, kind of glued on top of the screws. Okay. And they just pop off. Try not to touch them, the face of them, with your fingers so it stays sticky. If it doesn't, add a little sticky tape or double sided tape would be best. Okay, so we have the screws that we're going to take off the back panel with. We also have a wheel here, the pulley wheel. We're going to have to take that off to remove the motor. It's a really simple process. This is such a simple machine. It's not bad. I mean, if they could only make a better motor for it. I like the size of the tumble drum for a three pounder. And so, uh, hey, as long as they're going to keep sending me new and free motors, I'll keep using it. I may look at an electronic store to possibly find one bigger and stronger that I could replace. But for now, there it is. Simplicity at its finest. Okay, so over here I have the little wheel. It just pops off. If it's hard to get off, pry it up with your screwdriver. Okay, and it's just a plug. Just a plug right there with a motherboard. Oh, look what fell out. The brush. This is a, a brush motor, not a brushless. There is the piece. And so, we have a couple of screws holding the motor in. Right there. Let's get this over as quick as and fast as possible. I don't have to waste time watching a video. There's my motor. My new one got sent to me from Nat Geo. No questions asked. Just call their customer service. And uh, excellent, folks. Couldn't ask for better customer service. Okay. Screw new motor in. Screw back in. You see that, right? Screw in. Okay, nice and tight because it will vibrate a little bit. Snug, not just don't over tighten it, of course. Wheel back on. You have just a little pop in hole there. Slide that right over, push it hard down, or otherwise it won't line up. Plug in your new unit. And there's only one way that you can plug it in. So if it doesn't fit well, turn it around. Old motor. Old pieces from the brush. Okay. Top back on. Everything's good. I got a foot here that popped off. Get the door back on. Okay, the panel, all right. <laughs> it's pretty fast, pretty simple. It'll take, uh, whew, it only took three days for it to get here after they said they were gonna send me one. I thought that was really impressive. This motor is just about an eighth of an inch smaller, which is a little discouraging because I was hoping it would be a little bigger and more heavy duty, honestly, uh, but Who's not to say you can't uh, replace this motor with uh, a generic or uh, aftermarket brand? Should be a pretty simple change. Okay, I'm missing a screw, but we'll worry about that as soon as this video is complete and the unit is back together.
screw. <laughs> they cover up the hole. Dropped it. Found it. Okay, so there it is. That's the change out of the motor. I won't post this unless the motor's working. So, if you see this on YouTube, it's because it plugged in just fine.